YouTube, it's me again, back with another video. I am so sorry, first of all, that I didn't have a uh, Thursday video last week. I didn't realize that I'd forgotten to post until it was much too late. <laughs> but that's okay, because I didn't have a voiceover prepared, and now I do. So there we go. So this week, I wanted to introduce another character to you guys, and this one is from the same universe as Nina Wren and Adela Germain. As a matter of fact, as the title may have clued you in, this is the other Germain child. So in Adela Germain's character introduction video, I explained that she is in the running for the throne of Olden. And the other person in the running is Avignar, who I decided to give an accented name because apparently I hate myself. Um, <laughs> he is uh, Adela's younger brother. Um, he is, I think, either 15 or 16 to his sister's uh, 1920. So there's about a five-year age difference between them. Um, it's not all completely set in stone um, and may change, but, you know, for now that's their age difference. And whereas his sister puts in a lot of effort to learn, you know, how the kingdom runs and what she needs to do to become a ruler, Avignor has just never really wanted the throne. He's kind of generally apathetic towards the idea that he may someday be king, which frustrates the hell out of his father, I will have you know. Um, he, he tends to be a little bit more of a mama's boy, and <laughs> see, his mother, her name's Avidaria, um, she's not a bad woman, she's just not my favorite of my characters. <laughs> she's kind of rude and a little snobbish. So the fact that Avignar kind of takes after his mother gives you an idea of some of his character flaws. Um, his mother very much pampers and praises him. Um, she pampers and praises both of her children. Um, but Adela takes more after her father, who also instills the discipline. Basically, Avidaria is never the bad guy of the two. Um, so, as you may guess, Avignar is a little spoiled. He's not, like, spoiled rotten. He's not nasty about it. But he is kind of entitled. He's not, um, cruel. He's not, you know, one of those kids where you roll your eyes and want to slap them because they're just so spoiled and privileged and they just don't understand. He's just sort of naive and a little oblivious um, to the world around him. He's very quiet and a little, I don't know how exactly to describe Avignar. He's a very quiet character and that sort of means that I don't know a whole lot about him. Um, I do know that he's kind of a creative child. Um, one of his major passions in life is just art and creating and in that way, I relate, bro. Um, <laughs> He is much mellower than his sister. His sister is the bombastic, loudmouth storyteller, and he's just kind of always been in the background. Um, and he's never really minded that. It's given him time to himself. It's let him sort of exist in his own little bubble. Um, and he's okay with that. He enjoys his bubble. Um, Avignard does not do well with change. Um, which ends up becoming sort of a problem throughout the story because he is convinced that everyone from the Raiden tribes is totally out to get them. And in some cases he's right, but in a lot of cases he's wrong, uh, particularly in the case of the main characters. So he, he gets into some conflicts with Nina because he thinks that she is out to get him and his sister. And he doesn't really try to put up a fight to stop it. Um, so if he were right, he would kind of like kick himself later because he didn't do enough about it. Um, but he does get a little nasty um, and defensive. 
But I can't say I blame him. The, the poor kid did go through a war. So, I, I'll give him that. Um. But yes, that's Avignon. Um, a little bit of discussion on the drawing. This drawing was difficult. Um, I really struggled with the eye shape. He has these very rounded, kind of droopy eyes, and I really struggled to capture that. Um, he has a more pointed nose than I'm used to drawing, a little bit more of a sharp nose, and he doesn't have a defined cupid's bow, which I, I struggled with that one. His cupid's bow is, it's there. It's just very flat, and I did not do very well at portraying that, I don't think. Um, his hair was also very difficult. I don't, I, I really didn't capture his hairstyle. It's much flatter on top and more combed all back in one direction and then pinned around the back of his head. Um, but I got the length right and the color right and all of that goodness, so I'm taking it as a win. Um, I do not draw males very often, mostly because I suck at it. Um, I'm trying to challenge myself to do that a little more, um, break out of my comfort zone. But you know, there's only so much out of the comfort zone I can do. Yep. Um, <laughs> so I don't really have all that much more to say about Avignar. Um, ah, uh, a few more little facts about the Crown Prince of Olden. Um, he wears a lot of red. Uh, the, all of the royal family basically wears red. Um, he doesn't like to wear a crown, which annoys his mother, who always wears crowns. And that's like his one point of contention with his mother, is that he won't wear a crown. And she's always like, why do you not want to wear a crown? And he's just kind of because it's inconvenient. Um, so, <laughs> he's a little bit uh, stubborn. Uh, that whole family is pretty stubborn, honestly. I, I think a lot of my characters are stubborn, and that has absolutely nothing to do with me being stubborn. I am the most easygoing, non-stubborn person you will ever meet. Yeah, no. No one's gonna believe that. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's all I really have to say about Avignar. Um, he's a very fun little character, and by fun I mean absolutely and completely quiet in the back of my brain. So I will try to fill you guys in a little bit more on the Grand Prince as I get to know him. Um, it's a process, slowly learning what your character is like. I say this like he's a person that exists in real life. Oh well, people will think I'm crazy. So, <laughs> that's all I have for you this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed the speed paint so far, and hope you will continue to enjoy it for the remaining two minutes of footage. Um, have a good morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, time of day, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you.